if I type what is Bitcoin in Google versus what is Bitcoin in public, the answers are different. You get something in public that already gives you a snapshot of what you want to know versus in Google search, you're led to websites that you need to sift through the information. Public AI and LLMs is a smarter way to get information, to get data, and to get it in a very, very fast and efficient manner. As investors, it's so important that we keep up with the times that we are not left by technology or innovation because if we're stuck with the old ways of investing, if we're stuck with just investing in what we know, please do note that what's important as an investor is, is you keep on flowing like water, you keep on learning because as technology advances and it moves forward, it will continue to disrupt and displace certain things that we are comfortable with, that we're familiar with. And our goal is not to be attached by what worked before. Our goal is to embrace what's new and what will actually change the narrative of how we live our lives as well. As investors in this video, I want to talk about why AI and LLMs can overtake Google and it can transform search as a whole. And by doing so also, I do believe it will help you structure and know how you're supposed to go about your investments. I grew up in a world where when I wanted to learn something, I had to go to the library to research or I had to open encyclopedias at home, which was, in my opinion, very inefficient, meaning the amount of time you would take just for you to be able to go to the library. And what if the book that you wanted to read or borrow was not available because someone borrowed it or someone's actually using it. And the amount of time just to look for the topic or the material that you want to change or you want to learn. It was so inefficient, it was so hard that we had to photocopy pages of it, we had to write it. But as I started to grow up, Google changed the game. The ability for you to be able to search things and the ability for you to be able to get information on a very, very fast way. So this is me saying that Google and the current search that we have right now has done a lot of things to advance information and to make our lives more efficient. However, this system also has its limits. So do note that when you do a search, Google has an algorithm that analyzes a variety of factors, keyword relevance, website authority, user engagement, and many more to help rank those sites. So when you do a search, majority of the people go for the ones that they easily see on the first or second pages. If you're way far already, then if people can't search you, they won't go to your site. So that has been relevant and successful for decades also. But that current setup readily relies on keyword matching, which means that if you're good in SEO, you could easily manipulate those words so that people could go to your site. And through the years also, we've seen a lot of spam sites, scam sites. We've seen a lot of information that's not actually true, which is far from what's the reality, which is far from what the data is saying, but mainly because that website is good in SEO, they're the ones that pop up. And the access to information has been fast, but the quality of information, we've seen it through the years, has started to degrade as well. Now that being said, that's where AI and LLMs come into the picture. With the help of advanced machine learning algorithms, these technologies can better understand the meaning behind speech query and surface more relevant and accurate results. So by leveraging AI and LLMs, search engines can also do more personalized results based on the user's history, location, and preferences. This can lead to more satisfying and efficient experience of users. I do believe that when we use more AI and LLMs, and it's not just purely related or pushed by keyword matching, it will reduce a lot of false information that we could see that's prevalent right now in the world. A couple of reasons why I do believe AI and LLMs are better. Number one is this, is the ability to understand natural language. AI and LLMs are becoming 
increasingly more proficient in understanding and interpreting natural language. AI just keeps on getting better and smarter as the years go by. The larger amount of data that it could actually be exposed to, the more intelligent it would be. That's why through the years also, we have seen that they can understand search queries more and deliver more accurate results compared to traditional search engines like Google. I know you've experienced this if you made a search query. All of the sites that came out were irrelevant to what you actually wanted to know or you wanted to know something very, very specific but you weren't able to see it there and it has become frustrating from finance to basketball to food to a place that you want to go to. There's so much irrelevant data as compared to what you want to get. What's interesting also about AI and LLMs is that it can help also search engines as a whole, a marriage of them, get greater context on what they're searching for or on what they want to learn. As a user who wants to get more information, using AI and LLMs will allow you to get the information that you really want and you won't be led into other websites that are irrelevant from what you actually want to know. What's interesting about AI and LLMs is its increased efficiency and speed because AI and LLMs have the ability to learn from user behavior, feedback, and similar to what I said, the longer exposure AI has, it has the ability to continuously improve and provide better search results over time. By that alone, I do believe it has a massive, massive lead and chance already to eclipse Google and the current search era that we are currently in. That being said, if you remember over the past few months, I've made videos about Public, which is a web platform powered by AI and LLMs. How does Public also fit into this picture? Number one, it's this. Publix is basically the first search engine in the world to integrate LLMs into its core search logic. This AI layer is called Public AI and is built on top of LangChain and other open source models. What you're seeing right here is Public getting the mix of it's not just it being a Web3 platform that allows creators to be able to get incentivized, but because of its back being public AI, it's right smack in the middle of this entire AI revolution. So public basically uses LLM to process the user's search query in natural language. And then it retrieves the relevant content and information and generate an answer in a user-friendly way. So for example, if I want to learn something like, is Kobe Bryant a very good basketball player? As you can see right here, you're getting an answer that's directly based on your question. I think that's very fascinating because the old model will give you websites that references the keywords that you have because public AI is using LLMs. It's like you're talking to someone via chat that's answering your question. So for example, I want to know what is the best way to go to London from Sydney. You get an answer as well. You want to know, is it actually cheap to go to Antarctica? You get answers. It's as if you're talking to someone on chat. That's what makes it very fascinating. It's personal. It's a language model. It's easier for you to get the information that you want and you don't actually get bored because normally in <laughs> search, it gets boring when you just keep scrolling for websites and you don't actually get the info that you need. Publix AI and its LLMs make it easy for people to actually use it. That's why I do believe that LLMs have the ability to surpass Google just by its sheer ability to be able to make it very personalized and answer your query. I think it's very good. So just for example, if I type what is Bitcoin in Google versus what is Bitcoin in public, the answers are different. You get something in public that already gives you a snapshot of what you want to know versus in Google search, you're led to websites that you need to sift through the information. Public AI and LLMs is a smarter way to get information, to get data, and to get it in a very, very fast and 
mission. And what's interesting also, if you're watching this and you're a developer, Public's next steps will be to open source public AI and enable developers from around the world to contribute to it. This will be connected to public's token model and public will distribute a percentage of the tokens to public AI and have it shared between all those open source developers that contribute to their creation. I've made videos in public talking about if you're a creator, make videos or you have a blog, you get to earn based on the clicks from the videos and the blogs that you actually have. Now, that being said, because public is Web3, it's giving the community the power to be able also to monetize something based on what they're actually contributing. Now, what's interesting about this is that you now have an ability for developers, people who are contributing into this open source model that public has, to be able to earn off of it. The more they contribute, the greater their abilities to get rewarded on a tokenized manner. So what we're seeing right here is AI, blockchain, and Web3 going hand in hand. AI LLMs for you to be able to get the data that you want. But if you're also a developer, you now have the ability also to monetize it, to earn something based off of your contributions. Public is a community-driven search engine that aims to democratize the search industry and make it more open and collaborative, rewarding the web ecosystem. By making public AI open source and bringing the brightest minds to the open source AI community, public will be able to add many capabilities and support more and more search use cases and be competitive with Google and Bing as well. By the time you're watching this, public should have announced already also that they have made public AI open source and which if you're watching this and you're a developer, you now have the ability to be able to contribute into the ecosystem, build it, and also earn tokens while you're contributing. And that's the essence of Web3. If you want to know more about public, you want to know more about public AI, you want to know more about its ecosystem, and you also want to know more about its token reward model, I'll put links down below for you to be able to know more about it, research it, so you get to also do your own due diligence. So if you are a crypto slash Web3 person, you can do research on top of it. If you are a developer and you want to contribute, this is also for you. Do your own due diligence, start, links are down below. I just want to end everything off with this, similar to what I said about Bitcoin, that it's a new iteration of technology. It's a new piece of technology that's changing and disrupting AI, LLMs, and the ability for people right now in 2020 to get information fast and in a way that's better, that doesn't waste your time, that gives you the answers that you actually want on the questions that you actually have. I think it's a game changer, not just for our generation, but for the next. You will see entire industries disrupted because of this, because of the availability of data could be accessed by anyone in a timely and efficient manner. As an investor, I do hope that this is something that gives you enough insight and glimpse into the future on how you're supposed to position and how you're supposed also to be innovative in the way you strategize your investments. Because at the end of the day, if you don't adapt, if you stay stuck with what you know and what worked 10 years ago, you're going to be left behind. So I hope you got a lot from this. I hope that this was something that's insightful. If you have questions, leave it down below. And if you want to learn more, like, share, subscribe, and smash the bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content about investing. So that's it for now. Marvin Gerbon, I hope this video helps you play well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. God bless you.